Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickups video. Uh, thanks for checking out the Captain America Civil War trailer review earlier today. Oh my god, what a cool trailer it was, right? Uh, if you're noticing a difference in the facial hair, it's just all because I made a mistake while I got myself ready for work. So I've got to go into the city. I'm going to teach a lot of drum lessons today. And I also have an announcement that I want to talk about. I need your guys' help, okay? I want to make new t-shirts. And I made a brief announcement in last week's P.O. Box pickup video, but this time I'm, you know, this is... Anybody that entered, there's three people that sent me images last week, and they didn't follow the parameters I asked for, and I don't think I was very clear about it. So you'll be able to enter again, and I have three rules that I'm going to talk about. So the t-shirt has to, and I'll have a prize for the person... For the person's design, for the person who comes up with the design that I end up using, I'll have a prize for you. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use, but I'll have a prize. Also, you'll get a free T-shirt, of course. Okay, so uh, the three parameters, the thing, three things that you need to follow here is that it has to say, "Give it ankle pivot." All right, that's the slogan for the T-shirt. I want it to say, "Give it ankle pivot." The second thing is it has to have the Shardimus Prime logo. The red text that says Shardimus Prime, you know, the one that you see on the thumbnails of almost all of my videos. It has to have that Shardimus Prime written, right? And then lastly, you can only use one color. Now, you can come up with whatever design you want to uh, uh, in addition to the Give It Ankle Pivot with the Shardimus Prime, but it can only be one color, all right? Or else it's going to just blow the cost out of the water. The people that sent stuff, uh, sent me images last week, you had mul all three of you guys used multiple colors, and I can't use any of those, even though they looked very cool. So, an example, uh, we have... This Ramones shirt right here, it's just a black Ramones shirt, and you can see it's all just white. You have this complex design and everything, but it's all just white text right over here. I want one that says Marky Ramone. Anyway, so that's so those are the three things, okay? It has to say, give it ankle pivot, it has to have the Shardimus Prime text, and it has to only be one color. Send your JPEGs over to youwantrus at yahoo.com, the letter U. W-A-N-T-R-U-S-S -S at yahoo.com and then uh, winner will be selected and I'll announce that um, whenever it goes down. So I really appreciate your guys' help with that and then I have some prizes here I want to talk about. Uh, big thanks to the patrons for making the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilation video public for everybody. I really appreciate that a lot. So for people that are contributing $20 a month or more, I have another prize right here. This is the Star Wars C-3PO and R2-D2 Kotobukiya Artifacts Plus statues. These things, are they, are they actually, yeah, they are Artifacts Plus. So, this is going to be a prize for one of the contributors that are sending $20 a month or more. I will put your guys' name in a raffle, uh, minus Alfonso, because he won the Bellerophon last time. So I'll, I'll do a raffle for that, and then uh, and then I'll select a, a winner next week. This thing's valued at over $100, so I'll I'll just be randomly you know doing prizes for for the $20 a month people. And big thanks to Kotobukiya, by the way. They actually the first company to send me something specifically to give away for the patrons, and that is just super cool, you guys. And then for you non-patrons, I have a giveaway for the DC Collectibles, the new Batman Adventures, the Creeper. If you want this figure, uh, you'll be randomly selected if you leave a comment at shardimusprime.net and then you have to go to the new Batman Adventures Batman figure review, not the animated series one, the new Batman Adventures Batman figure review, and leave a comment there and then I'll randomly select uh, somebody from the comments and I'll announce a winner next week. So next week we'll have two... Uh, two winners to announce, all right? I also have a one-up box packaging over here that I'll open in a minute, but I want to read through some letters first, all right? All right, oh, this is from EG. I really like that we got the Spidey logo right there on the back, very cool. And I just want to make sure I didn't forget anything. All right, well, I'll just open this up right here. I gotta shoot this video and then drive into the city. I'm teaching whew, a six-year-old kid how to play drums today at 2.30. That's like, whoo, six years old, it's really young. Anyway. Uh, all right, and then I have like a 45 year old student later that day and seven year old and then a couple of 10 year olds. All right, anyway, uh, this is dated October 8th, 2015. It says, Dear Shardimus Prime, you are hands down my favorite YouTube action figure reviewer. Thank you. Uh, you have such an awesome personality and enthusiasm in your reviews. I think my favorite review by you is the NECA Spider Gremlin. Oh, I love that figure. It's hanging upside down right there. 
Uh, keep up the great work and thanks for your dedication to your channel. Your reviews have inspired me to start collecting figures and now my biggest issue is space as it is mine. Um, we're hosting Thanksgiving this year at my place and I'm trying to clean up the dork room and... Oh man, alright. I see you have lots of shelves and surface area to display your figures. I'm working on maximizing shelf space, but it's a never-ending battle. Here are my three questions. One, do you collect the 5.5 inch TV series Walking Dead figures? I do. I have them all lined up right over here. Uh, I think I saw a few in your videos. Any favorites? I really like the Rick Grimes uh, where his hand is cut off. That's one of my favorites. So I think my all-time favorite one though is the series one zombie that his head explodes. I, th I think that one's great. Uh, since it's Halloween time, do you have any favorite horror figures? Um, my favorite... I, I think my... The Ash, the the Army of Darkness, or no, that's the Evil Two, uh, Evil Dead Two Ash figure from NECA. Yeah, the uh, what was it called? It's not called Ultimate Ash, but I think I, I, the Battle Ash. I don't know the one I have standing on the five dollar bill that Bruce gave me. Um, and I'm gonna call him Bruce just on a first name basis because him and I, you know, were both on a panel together and it was awesome. Anyway. Uh, I recently purchased the new NECA Leatherface figure from BBTS, and it is fantastic. Awesome. Uh, do you work out slash exercise regularly? What do you do? I think you mentioned you jog and play tennis. Does your work slash hobbies interfere? Actually, yes. Uh, since, you know, the, the decline that I've mentioned numerous times that has pushed me to start the Patreon account, it's also pushed me to get a second job. And in this second job of teaching drums, I have to really be on my A game as far as uh, as far as my music goes. So I have to put a lot more time into practicing now, and it's taken away from my jogging time, which is a bit unfortunate. So I have not been working out and doing my jogs. I really want to get back into it. Uh, I'm also playing at the local college uh, jazz band ensemble, and there's a lot of practice for that as well. So I'm spending a lot more time practicing. Uh, my drumming and uh, not as much time jogging and definitely not nearly as much and not playing tennis at all at the moment uh, Hope your camping trip went well. Thank you so much. Shuttlebots roll out Earth's Geomancer. All right. Thank you so much, man. Damn. I'm so sorry to get to this letter late um, Right this one right here is from Cody Blythe. Hey, what's up Cody? I, I remember you man and oh wow I think you told me yeah, you told me that you'd sent this in the mail a while ago well, you guys are so damn generous, it takes a while to get to all these letters, you know what I mean? So, I uh, really, ooh, cool. we got some Batman Forever trading cards. Ooh, I'll show those off in a second. And, all right, short art and closed, so I'll save that for after the letter. And then it's, uh, it says, well, warning, crappy handwriting ahead. Hey, short, this is dated October 8th. Um, what's cracking, brother? It's Cody. It's been a while since I last wrote to you and sent you that, uh, that White Ranger. Thank you very much. Uh, I've been super busy lately and would have written back sooner, but, uh, have since then found new employment with Robert Alex Rodden running his page. I've also reached the 2,000 subscriber goal on my YouTube. Congratulations. Ranger Collector 62492. And have, and have to work harder at it. I've always... Uh, I've also since grown my collection and was hoping I could provide picks and be the show off that I am. But I'm sure you have seen it, uh, so I have a few questions. Uh, one, have you seen the new legacy stuff for Power Rangers like uh, the toys? No, I haven't. I have not really kept up with the legacy figures. Uh, two, have you heard the news of the new Power Rangers film? I did hear about that. Uh, I think it sounds very cool. I'm. Uh, number three, in light of the new movie, do you think Hot Toys should tackle Power Rangers? Yes, I actually think that would be really badass. Only if they can make them really articulated. If they can't, then, oh man, uh, they're going to run into a world of hurt. You cannot make Power Rangers figures without having awesome articulation. Uh, what advice would you give people that want to collect? I keep saying ch challenge yourself and do what makes you happy. Um, you know, like... Focus your collection on things that you really want, like teens and things like that. I've answered this question a number of times, but it's like, yeah, you know, if, if you're a huge X-Men fan, go for an X-Men collection first, or an Avengers fan, start there, or a video game fan, you know, like, try to, you know, even though you may like other things, try to keep yourself focused as far as, I think you'll enjoy your figures the most if you have a cohesive collection more than anything else. Anyway, thanks for letting me chew your ear off. Keep on rocking on. Right on. Thank you so much, Cody. 
And we have the shark art right here. Oh, okay, it says, I was going to draw a Megazord versus Shardimus epic shark art for you, but I suck at drawing. Use your imagination, troll, lol. I owe you one shark art. <laughs> That's hella funny. And it's just nothing at all. I'm keeping this anyway. All right, and then we have some Batman Forever. <laughs> all right, we get, <laughs> we get the Joker. Or the, the Joker? The Riddler right there. You get Val Kilmer's... Batman. Oh yeah, is it? And we got um, Demi Moore there. Oh wow, yeah. Then we have Robin. Yeah, <laughs> this movie. You know, I, I I'll say this movie for me personally definitely falls into the category of one of my least favorite Batman movies. Okay, and let's. This is gonna be the last letter right over here. Ooh, unless it's very short, then we'll get to another one. And this is from Jernigan. Jernigan, all right. Ooh, nice. All right, it says, By Glow Green Patrick Channel. Hey, dude, I hope you love the picture. Do you? Oh, <laughs> cool Hulk toy. And then you get a finger with a nasty fingernail right there. And I think that's me yelling toys. This is awesome. And then you get a nasty finger over there. It says, Cool Hulk toy. And because it's a little shard in this right there. Thank you very much. All right, I'm gonna open one last one. This is from Brian and Amanda. Thank you so much, Brian and Amanda. It says there's shard art enclosed. P.S. Keep doing videos. No city planner. Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah, for real. Don't want to do the city planning gig. That's like, I appreciate your guys' support. Ooh, and what's this we have here? So this is a, uh, okay, USB drive. Probably has a shard art in the USB drive. It says, hey, what's up, Shardmas Prime? Amanda and Brian here again. We are thrilled that you like the stuff we have sent you. I do greatly appreciate it. If you guys remember, they sent me the Voyager class Optimus Prime. And we appreciate the shout outs. Today we are sending something a bit different. It's not a figure, but instead some shard art, but not your usual stuff. There is an animation for you on the flash drive that we think you will like. Hope you enjoy it and have a great day, Brian and Amanda. Thank you so much, you guys. I'll check this out and I'll talk about... I'll talk about it more next P.O. Box pickup video because I obviously can't look at it right now. All right, let's get to the one up box. Let's see what's inside here. Ba 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 ba. Yeah ba ba ba. Yeah ba 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 ba. Yeah, to the Shardimus Prime Variety Show. We're gonna open up the packaging here. Ba ya ba ya beep beep. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, cool stuff. All right, all right. I'm already liking this one. I'm really. All right, we get a little plushie of Age of Ultron Captain America. Can't go wrong with that. Little kids of Captain America, you're a little man, Captain. Are you so angry, this Captain? Oh, why are you so angry, Captain? Oh, Cap. Oh, is the Civil War make you mad? Civil War make you mad? Okay, it's no. All right, and we have. Oh, this is like a. a well, this is Cyborg right here. Teen Titans Cyborg in ball form. Uh, there's usually. There's a little card that'll explain everything that's inside here. Ooh, I'm digging this. I really, really, I, I really want to watch the new Dragon Ball Z movie. I'm so behind on DBZ. And I've had a lot of people ask me if I want... Oh, wow. Did they did they seriously? Oh, over 9,000! And they did a combo of, uh, of Goku and Superman over here. Which is kind of funny because I always thought the characters were a little similar in, in, in a lot of ways, really. I think that is awesome. The shirt seems a little bit bigger than a large, though. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'm losing weight? I, I don't think so. I haven't been running as much. Maybe the intense drumming helps, though. I noticed since I stopped jogging, um, Charlita One has been cooking really... Uh, oh, wow. Nice. A Kylo Ren puzzle. That is awesome. That is hella sick. But Charlita One's been cooking really... I mean... She's always been able to cook, but lately she's been cooking really, really healthy food. And I've, I've just, so I think that may help, help me from gaining weight, but look at that Harley Quinn. Ooh, yeah, Harley Quinn air freshener. Hell yeah, I'm putting this up. Charlie One's going to want to take it, but no. No, 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 mine. And then this is from, oh, cool, another Dragon Ball Z sticker. We have Goku right over there. Maybe put that on a drum case. If you're interested in these 1UP boxes, I highly recommend them because they're only 13 bucks a month. And you're guaranteed to get a t-shirt. So if you don't like any of the other stuff, at least you get the t-shirt, man. I think it's a really good deal. All right, we get this one-up box pin right here of The Flash. And oh my god, I've been loving The Flash TV show. I am just absolutely hooked. I watched half the series on Netflix. And then I was like, you know what? I have to buy the Blu-ray, man. I absolutely love this show. I really, really like the show a lot. 
And then we have the little slip right here. So that was a DC buildable figure. Oh, okay. So with the cyborg, you take out the arms and legs and the body and stuff, and you put it all together. And this is the power power month of uh, no, uh, for November, of course, November. All right, that's it, you guys. So if you're interested in the What Up boxes, check the link below. Link is in the description. Remember, t-shirt contest. You remember the three rules. I'll try to write them all down in the description below. If you guys want to send your letters and artwork, send them to Shortimus Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!